Good morning, everybody. This Hangout on Air is live. I am Rosie Murphy, a.k.a. Rosie O'Kelly, along with the beautiful Missy Jenning. Good morning to all of you, and I uh, hope your Saturday is going great. It is 9.25 a.m. Pacific Daylight Savings Time here in California. And that's stupid. That's the one thing that always annoyed me about people when they would say it's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hey, dude, it's daylight savings time, okay? Standard time is non-daylight saving time, right? Well, rumors said, rumors are that they want to get rid of it here in California. I don't think they'll ever get rid of daylight savings time. I mean, hi, Flan. How are you, sweetie? I think, it's, I think it serves a definite, definite uh, purpose. But it, when you get into the fall, with daylight savings time and you're up at 5 a.m. Remember, it's pitch black and you're, you're, this is probably last September why I got nailed by that car walking to work because it was dark outside and this person had just rolled out of bed. Right, they were discombobulated. discombobulated. Thank you, Flan. It was my honor to have you, uh, my honor to have you along. You can see part of the finished product. I have two plates off camera here set up for Missy Jen and I with, I think, the two best ones. Hi, Harvey. Good morning. Well, aren't you glad it's morning, cold Harvey. in London? You suffered through all of that uh, heat up there, <clears throat> the heat wave. So this morning, we are going to taste test. Thank you, Evelyn. Nice to see you. Good morning to you. We are going to taste test the uh, copy Krispy Kreme, what I call the knockoff Krispy Kremes, uh, last night. You know, after making these donuts, and I'll have some observations at the end. I, I want Missy Jen to just enjoy her breakfast, but Krispy Kreme donut is any donut is not a difficult donut to make. Some donuts are baked. Other ones are uh, fried. Most don donuts sold in this country are fried. But they're fried. They're flash fried. They don't sit in there. They don't sit in there too long. 20 seconds on each side. Then you uh, flip them over. So there was a little bit of a learning curve for me last night. Because the first ones that I did, and you may be able to see them on the corner of the plate. I'm sure the taste is good, but they're a little darker than, say, the one that's sitting on Missy Jen's plate, which is truer to a Krispy Kreme here. So it's all about learning how to regulate temperature and learning how to uh, how long the dough should rise but they're all missy jen i think you would agree every one is donut size here there's nothing oh, that's yeah. undersized in terms of donuts and this this was all done real time too i didn't come in with dough that was pre-made and then punch it out and make donuts we started from absolute scratch with flour yeast milk etc sugar uh, uh short good morning Rude. Rude. hey rujix good morning to you nice to see you how are you today <laughs> yeah they turned out good good old rouge think, let's in the see, house. harvey if i'm estimating right it is like 6 6 30 around 6 30 p.m harvey's in london there it should be like six around six thirty p.m. Watch your donut. Very good. I love donuts. It's it's a real rare thing for Missy Jen and I. In other words, we would never. I don't think in our wildest dreams we would ever stop at a Krispy Kreme and just buy donuts. We would probably prefer. Uh, I speak maybe Missy Jen feels differently. Sit down to a, you know, bacon and eggs and and toast kind of breakfast compared to. Uh, to uh donuts okay 5 30 yeah. 5 30 p.m oh, 5 30 okay it's eight um so you can effectively to to begin from beginning to end to being totally cool cooled down the product you can kick out a donut in perhaps three and a half hours okay from absolute scratch to producing a finished product 
if I had to remake these donuts, though, I would start the dough the day before because you get a deeper flavor when you age the dough. When you start the dough and you cut the uh, yeast dramatically down by about 90%, you have, a, you have a dough that rises much more slowly over time and it, it ferments a little bit. It sits there and that fermenting gives that excellent uh, deep, fla uh, deep flavor to the uh, to the product. Hey, Ellie, nice to see you. Hi, Thanks for being around last night. So uh, there's definitely a learning curve <laughs> on that. I'll have some ups. Uh, yes, fluffier. Although I think I'm going to let Jen taste these. These things came out darn darn light. These uh, these donuts. I'll talk about one big thing at the very end that I would do different though in uh, making. Nice to see you, Ellie. And uh, uh, you know, when I'm baking, it's always nice. To, Ellie's like uh, happy sa a Saturday, uh, Ellie. What would I say? Ellie's like the Moses up on the you don't see, but suddenly mm -hmm. sweeps into the hangout. Yeah. Makes, uh, so she know you know she's always got that eye on. <laughs> Sometimes she just feels compelled to jump in there, and uh, yeah, fried dough is fried dough. It's a question of the lightness that you want to impart on the product and how feather light it is one of the trademarks of Krispy Kreme donuts is they're like air you bite into them and they're a very small amount of uh, dough and they um, they expand and they become a very light product so they're not the healthiest thing in the world as I said at the beginning of the hangout last night Krispy Kreme donuts was begun in the 1930s in Winston-Salem North Carolina and the uh, founder of Krispy Kremes decided to move to Winston-Salem because his his wife's favorite cigarette was Winston cigarettes if you can believe it and they thought the ladies you know they thought it was a good combination at that time that you could smoke and you could enjoy donuts and smoking helped keep you trim morning Andrea hey Andrea I'm gonna have a uh, Make sure you get to Andrew. She's got some questions about the uh, Ocrevus and stuff, okay? Okay. She really needs to get on that. She had, hi, Nicole. She had an episode where she's hospitalized. Yeah, so she's having a really tough go of it. So a very aggressive form of MS uh, there. It's, it's been horrifying. But she was in for hours last night. And it was fun. I loved having her. Uh, yeah, the doctors are always going to be coming in. Yeah, Harvey, I'm going to be, I don't know if you're subscribed to the Rosie O'Kelly uh, channel too, because I've decided to confine most of the baking to this, uh, to the Rosie Murphy channel and has tried to divide now that the Rosie O'Kelly channel is back to try to have a good division of things to take like Friday night restaurant reviews back to the O'Kelly channel to keep the baking here. When we're on trips to do the content on the O'Kelly channel and do the hangouts on the Murphy, you know, to try to sort of have balance a good that. Saturday. Hey, fun. Kelly. Good morning to you. Hi, Kelly. Hope you're doing good surviving that heat. Man, it has been miserable. Uh, we had this monsoon surge, which is a high humidity and stuff. But I'll tell you, when I was done baking and I hit that air conditioned, uh, I just was out last night. Like that. V Mac, how you doing, sweetie? <clears throat> so, Harvey, I hope that you'll, uh, anybody that's not subscribed to, uh, subscribe to the uh, Rosie O'Kelly channel, too, because it's, what would you say, Jen? It's a much deeper channel. It goes back and it has uh, a tremendous volume of content, moonshining to uh, travels to renovations it's a kind of channel you can get lost in for a couple of weeks just hanging out and seeing trips and all that rujik says in canada we're used to tim horton's donuts Krispy Kreme, so but didn't do well close yeah i mean you can't compete with uh tim horton's coffee too it's supposed to be great i don't know when i was worked for royal bank of canada i remember a couple times when i would visit toronto that i would uh, go to tim horton's and have coffee yeah, uh, all my vids are not saved. 
but they're all on the channel. Oh man, here comes Domino just jumped the fence and from next door and just came over. So <laughs> all right, Domino. Domino. What are you doing? Huh? You coming to say hi to everybody? Huh? Domino? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Are you saying hi to everybody? Huh? Oh, donuts. Oh, huh? Are you saying hi to everybody? Huh? There you are. Oh, it's like 130. Hey, Vegas Fix. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, lick that glaze. Uh, yeah, Rory's there on the uh, on the side chat. Hey, I'll tell you what. This is uh, this is really strange. This dog's about 130 pounds, and it can get itself over a six foot fence. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, uh, Harvey, uh, audio restoration and audio explorations are going to begin in September. As Jen will tell you, it's too darn hot to be in the uh, shop yeah, to do audio so work. It's like being in an Indian sweat it tent. It's 95 yesterday. Yeah, I can't, uh, I yeah. cannot, make it, I can't do that, you know, to be in there. So, Domino, um, no, looks like you're going to get a treat for being a real bad dog. There. Um. <laughs> Okay. He's gonna have to wait. I'm gonna send Andrea my Yeah, Andrea, she's gonna send you a uh, uh, send you her phone number on there. So Audio will be back. I have a lot of projects in process. Francis, good morning to you. How are you doing, sweetie? I enjoyed your uh, clear water lunch with uh, Michelle down there. That was cool. Um, so we're just freewheeling a little bit here this morning. There's a lot of things you're going to, I'm going to try to do a lot of things to, you know, it's hard to divide when you have two channels to decide what to, uh, what kind of content to split it up so it makes sense. Uh, yeah, Kelly's here. It's only 20 degrees, too cold for me. Well, Harvey, you know, remember before it was 35 degrees. Good morning, Cupcake. Can I interest you in a donut? <laughs> and Cupcake, tell MX to unban me, that freaking ski wee. Uh, all right, so she's sending that to, uh, she's sending that to uh, you. So thank you. Yeah, it was a, uh, it was Nice on Tuesday to get the notification that the channel was uh, well, actually on Monday to get the notification that the channel would be restored on uh, Tuesday. And I was very happy to that. I'm going to be putting up the final part of how I got my YouTube channel back for the fifth time after being terminated for the fifth time. And I'm going to put on the final part. It's called going nuclear when all else fails and what you can uh, what you can do. Uh, yeah, yeah, you want to stay away from their sweets and stuff, so eating more protein. Yeah, there's Domino. Domino, what are you doing? Huh? Where's Millie Vanilli? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? Did you say hi to everybody? Huh? You say hi to everybody? Yeah. Huh? You say there's donuts. You can't have any donuts. I know, I know, I know. What are you doing? Huh? Huh? Are you happy, boy? Huh? Smelling those donuts. There we go. Huh? You big German. Uh, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing, huh? What a beautiful dog, huh? Yeah, thank you, Harvey. Put the last one on there. I always tell everybody if you're a content creator and you get uh, terminated, don't lose faith. <clears throat> Might be a long process, but I nobody knows more about restoring a channel on YouTube than I do. That's for damn sure. But it's like a statue of limitations. You've got to get everything restored within 364 days because on the 365th day, what does YouTube do with all of your stuff? Delete. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he loves us. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and taste the donut. I'm going to be uh, recording that video, the final part of how I got my uh, terminated YouTube channel back for the fifth time. The nuclear option. I'm going to be recording that today when all else fails. And uh, you know, it's not something that I would recommend as a first line, but 
is certainly a yeah. uh, last line. Uh, we can talk in a little while, Andrew. Yeah, she'll give me a call uh, about that. Yeah, we love you, Andrew. We can. Kelly we, says, does it restore? I'm going to be doing a special hangout, too, on uh, channel restoration, just dedicated to that, a targeted hangout. Yes, your subs come back, but your subs are going to be reduced. Reduce. Remember, anybody that clicks on a suspended or terminated channel is going to get a message that uh, this channel has been, uh, does, uh, you know, does not exist. Uh, click here if you want to unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. But in a matter of uh, three days, I gained back three plus months of losses in three days on that. And, uh, you know, and, and uh, all the view count stays the same, <clears throat> over 10 million views and all that on the, uh, on the channel. So I was happy about that. Hey, BMAC, that yeah, dog loves Rosie, girl. Don't that you dog, die with that dog is Don't all you dog. Tell me. Come here. Dog is Come all. here. Come dog is Come all here. About the Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll take him okay. back home three or four times. Don't now. you love the rosy girl? Right oh, back don't over you there love the rosy girl? You're looking at those donuts. Oh, my. Look at those donuts. Look at those donuts. Oh, I'm not going to torture you. Huh? You're so big and, and yeah, and there's Georgia. You're, you're so big. You're so big and fat. The only one that's missing is Billy. You know, it's funny when George tries to chase uh, chase Domino around. And then when Bobby's dog Link is here, the first time Link came in, and Domino was here. Link Hi, was Allison. Here. Link is about half the size of Georgie. It just, it just literally peed the floor yeah. when, uh, when Link saw Domino. Yeah, Domino. Oh my God. I was like, yeah. Yeah, uh, Kelly, we're planning the uh, second thursday through sunday arrive on that thursday and leave on that sunday we're going to be mm -hmm. doing the um piranha club and uh, hanging out yeah i saw that news that somebody stole an aircraft and crashed it in seattle mm -hmm. yeah some real you know somebody had his real mental problems so you know so I will be doing a special hangout just dedicated to uh, channel terminations, a Q&A on that probably one evening, uh, one evening next week because uh, having gone through this process so many times and now having open real channels of communication mm -hmm. with human beings at YouTube, it's, um, it's kind of nice. <clears throat> Yeah, probably made big Al Qaeda. They probably tried to claim, uh, probably tried to claim credit for that. No, actually, in the news it said it was not a terrorist. Hey, attack. J.K. and uh, Lynn Russell, thank you, sweetie. Love having you here. I yeah, we met you. somebody yesterday. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them, J.K. NoCal. We met a good friend of yours going to the fair. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday that you worked with a lot of quite a few years we met him uh, yesterday and he makes a uh, hot sauce thing so he was talking now we uh yeah he laid out all your life <laughs> for us we couldn't get away from the guy but he yeah was he, really... he was your teacher and your trainer <laughs> yeah so yeah it's always nice to meet people it's so funny guys to walk in and it's almost inevitable whenever you go to a crowded place now somebody's going to recognize us when we're uh, when yeah. we're there and they come up it is a very small world uh, james so jim said to pass along his regards and say hi to you yeah. he spends most of his time on instagram now which i don't really understand because i don't understand how to interact okay andrea take care now he was uh he was a uh, he was a white love guy. you Andy, and and we'll talk very soon yeah, we and, talked uh, about how you helped him put fencing mm -hmm. in and some other uh, yeah he was projects. actually yeah he was a little on the uh on the uh rubenesque side yeah not not Terrifically overweight, but he was not with the international celebrities. Holy shit. 
Yeah. Oh my God, J.K. He talked and talked, and we missed the first race at the uh, at the racetrack. I'll have the video up, and we give you a uh, mention there at the beginning. I don't know about that, uh, Craig. I mean, he, I just couldn't get away from. He him. was your mentor. You know, he was fascinated by. Uh, he said he meeting was your me mentor. Jen in person, so he trains you. It's always fun who you meet. I'm going to give Missy train. Jen her. Uh, I want to give her the puffiest and I think the best uh, donut combo here, Georgie. This ain't for you. You're going to have to sit him down there. There we go. I'm going to give Missy Jen a Krispy Kreme regular glaze and then the uh, chocolate glaze. Now, this isn't commercially made with a machine that flips them over and does the other side and then runs them underneath of the glaze. This is, uh, this is my style. Here, so Jen, if you go ahead, I'll give you a napkin here. You can go ahead and give them a whirl. I would suggest starting with the light glaze because the chocolate will be powerful. And all I did was to make the two glazes was make a batch of vanilla glaze, and then when I glazed half the donuts, I added some cocoa powder to it, and then made a uh, chocolate uh, glaze. Mm. We cut out, I, oh, good morning. I used two small, I used a little shot glass to make the center and a, a big uh, cup to make the outside. Nice and fluffy, yeah, I like yeah, that. You want to show, take another bite and then show them the, uh, yeah, it's like a Krispy Kreme. It's a very light to uh, show them one. <clears throat> yeah, it, it turned out uh, turned out pretty good. I'm going to let Jen uh, try them out. And then today is cleanup day on the rancho. So by order of Missy Jen, she's declared that uh, August 11th shall henceforth be cleanup day around here. What do you think? That's a donut. Hmm? That's a very nice, right? Donut, I like that. Mm. Oh, that coconut cream pie was just... It was actually a coconut uh, meringue pie it was just probably one of the top five. I mean, I've made a hundred things, and that was definitely top five. That Mallory Williams banana banana pie, and uh, for elegance and everything, it was amazing. And that so, only lasted 24 hours. Yeah, the thing was gone, man. I'm embarrassed to say. I, you know, the month of. Uh, you know, starting Monday is going to be right back on hard. I mean, hard exercise. I got my final nip and tuck surgery. The sides coming up on uh, early January, and I want to make sure that I'm down on the lean side. So after surgery, I can eat again and kind of fill up my uh, skin. But there's your chocolate here. Mm -hmm. Nice and fluffy as well, and has a really nice touch of the chocolate. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Allison, thank you. And then it's not too thick. Linda Francine is a southern donut. Yes, it is. They were in Missouri many, many years before they went national. I love them. Yeah, they went public. They destroyed themselves with overexpansion and channel stuffing. And then they went uh, private. And uh, now they're part of a portfolio along with uh, Peach Coffee and a few other uh, companies. Yeah, nice to Hello, see you, Linda. Uh, Linda, and uh, thank you. You know, in my discussions with YouTube, people don't think it really makes a difference to put pen to paper and write snail mail or put something on a computer, but uh, Linda had a lot of good thoughts yeah, that she shared. The donuts are great. They're really light. Not, not too sweet or anything. And the chocolate is nice and thin, the coat, the covering. Sometimes when you go out and you buy donuts, the, the, the sweet uh, coating is like really thick, but this is like very conservatively put on, and I like that. Yeah, it's not some thick goo. Uh, everyone says, how do, you, how do you decide what you're going to bake? A lot of things, and also on the um, Rosie O'Kelly channel, and this will make a lot of people happy who don't come to my hangout. They don't necessarily, a lot of people that love, love bikini baking, but there's some people that want to see daytime clothes baking, and I'm going to be doing more entree type of dishes 
on the O'Kelly channel, um, you know, to broaden out the portfolio there. So my first love is always being a pastry chef. In other words, making desserts. Um, the franchise fee was a straight 18%, Ellie says, which is high in regard to the promotion. Yeah. They were expensive and then slow supply chain. And then once in a while, they would stuff the channel. Can you make something with blueberries for your favorite cup? Or I can. Now, cupcake, what did I make? I want to make... Uh, I want to make zinger cupcakes. In other words, uh, somebody suggested, Evelyn, that I make, start doing copy recipes. And I want to try to make the, uh, the hostess uh, snowballs and things like that to see how to make them and the hostess cupcakes to make Oreo cookies, to try to make Oreo. Uh, Hi, Mikey, and, Mike. Mikey, Mike. Good morning to you. Yeah, the channel stopping. Yeah, we have fluffy, crispy cream donuts, and they are light and fluffy with a nice thin glaze of yeah, chocolate. Help yourself if you want another one. Of chocolate, yeah. and the other one, what glaze is the other one? Hmm. Hi, it's Gerald. Gerald, hi, sweet. Love you. There's my Gerald. Woo. <laughs> Good morning, Gerald. Yeah, Evelyn says, I don't like some of the greasy aftertaste that you get on uh, some donuts. I agree with you. Mm. That's a damn good donut. Mm. Yeah, they're awesome. Dang. Once you had two, you got to have another two. <laughs> there we go. What would I do different making these donuts again? Number one, I would not use corn oil to fry these. Because donuts that are cooked in corn oil do have that aftertaste. I should have picked canola oil. Or I should have gone ahead the traditional way that Krispy Kreme does. And use um, vegetable shortening. They probably use lard vegetable shortening to do these. Uh, it probably would have resulted in a slightly different, less browning on them. And there would also be like zero, zero taste of that. So that's the thing that I would do uh, different. VMAC, let me, uh, yeah, my friend VMAC here. I'm giving out some. Uh, Allison, everybody on everybody on here gets a it's a wrench. What are you desperate about, Kelly? I missed what she's got going on. These are uh, these are fried. We can uh, we can try moderate. We can try baked. Okay, I think I got everybody. I think I got a VMAC on there. There we go. So you can type something VMAC on. No. That way nobody can get booted off of a uh, off of a chat or anything. Mm. Apple crumbles, my favorite. No, we've not made an apple crumble, and we'll probably make that next week, Allison, because I've got tons of apples from the tree that are perfectly right yeah. right now. Perfectly, perfectly right. Yeah, you do, J.K. I can't imagine you any anything except uh, anything except blue. <laughs> uh, thanks for ranch. Just make me all red. <laughs> VMAC. Yeah, this channel. Um, any hangouts on the Rosie Murphy channel are definitely more freewheeling. In other words, everybody gets a ranch. Elvis was in for a bit uh, last night. As long as you behave, he didn't have any problems. Have getting a great food. day, Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn, take care. But uh, on the Rosie O'Kelly channel, it's much more tightly moderated. For only three people have a wrench in there: Ellie, Greg, and uh, Joe King. So, <clears throat> especially uh, you know, Ellie and Ellie and Greg is. Especially Ellie has been ride or die for My five dad years. always said you can't stand on one leg, you can stand on two legs, so you have to eat everything in twos. 
So there you go. I had two chocolate. And then I had two of the other. I think you got something for snacks this week too. So. And I got to say, I had now four donuts. And they're so light and fluffy that I'm still actually uh, feel full, but not too full. So Yeah. They use real lard. I feel comfortable. These are 90% of Krispy Kreme. But like I said, if you're going to make these, get real vegetables short and real Crisco or something like that. <laughs> JK. JK, if it's any consolation to you, I put down quite a few ultra lights last night on that. It was a very long hangout because the, the um, <laughs> Gerald, no sugar added. Right, right. Not much. Because I made these from scratch. I didn't come in with pre made dough. I came in with flour, egg, sugar, water, yeast, and started from. So you see the whole process to, uh, to right to the end. So that's it. Mm. Chocolate one is uh, my favorite. Uh, if anybody would in, is interested in which one <laughs> is my favorite between the two different kinds, the chocolate is my favorite. The chocolate is actually <laughs> really that's it, cupcake. I'm, I'm fucking fancy, girl. You know that. Ellie said, Rosie's loose with chopsticks. I just have a lot of experience cooking with chopsticks. Yeah, we went to the horse races, and that's that's where we actually ran into your buddy. We ran into your, your mentor and your Your youth. mentor and trainer. Yeah, he gave us your whole life buddy. story. <laughs> yeah, he told us how you grew up and how he taught you everything and everything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you got to get them hot off the off the line. Cardboard, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Cardboard, but that's it. Um, actually, see so this panels, girl. These here are not hot off the line, and they are like like fresh, super fresh. They're like great. They were made last night. But JK, I did my drinking last awesome. night. Not oh, a, I don't think I smashed down it though. Not a, I remember. I kind of got them from the bottom, and uh, I do remember when we, when I still worked in Missouri, they would once in a while treat us to the Krispy Kreme donuts, and they were a lot tighter in the consistency. They were a lot more compact. Mikey, Mike, you know, a lot of people watch the Friday hang. That's obviously for bikini time, but a lot of people watch for technical stuff, too, to check things out and to uh, they can follow along in real time on making them. Oh, Harvey, yeah. I haven't seen your bodybuilding pic. Where is it at? Yeah, you have to send them to her on the, uh, on the Gmail there. <clears throat> What's our, uh, what's the collab chat? Yeah? Jen and Rosie Reality TV. Yeah, Jen and Rosie Reality TV at gmail.com. Gmail.com. You can send me. <laughs> who doesn't like, who the fuck doesn't like that? Don't you can send fun. me the uh, bodybuilding picture. Yeah, let's make a, uh, let's make an apple crumble, whatever the hell that is, next week and uh, see how that turns out. Uh, that would be pretty good. Oh, I was enjoying. Uh, I was enjoying the beers and the baking. It's not a combination I would recommend if you're going to use hot oil. Oh, you mean you changed your, as your icon picture? Oh, that usually takes a while okay. to change. You got to be careful with hot oil, but I have a lot of experience with uh, oil and keeping it. You never drop it. Everything's very moderated. Morning. Now, Cupcake, I already made you something before. Nicole, right? green in the house. You said, look at my name, Rosie, Cupcake, right? Blueberry. Maybe we'll make a Check blueberry. Check it out, yeah. Check it out. 
Luke, what we got, actually the apples need about one more week anyway. So we'll look at a blueberry uh, kuchin. Okay. Uh, a kuchin. I think that's the way they, yeah. Uh, I think that's the way they pronounce that. There's Nicole. Not yes. There's the brat. Happy Saturday evening. There's the shadow banker of the UK. Nigel Lawson has nothing on her. Hello, Nicole. Good yep, morning Cappers, to you. I love my kuchen. Kuchen, kuchen. That's correct, kuchen. No, I never took courses in baking or anything. I just started just pursuing it by trial and error. How is the lovely... Yeah, the uh, yeah, the, uh, the uh, donuts are not great. They're all right, really... Nice and fluffy, very light. At least she didn't say F you. They turned out really great. <laughs> wow. Mm. Francis, I can't imagine any difference between <laughs> being constipated with donuts and pasta is the same. Yeah, there we go. F you. How is Nicole today? Finally cooled off a little bit for you? Over there, so let's hit this back here. Just a few guys see them here. The donut, yeah. FFS, that's it. Lynn said, Mr. Jen, you're so spoiled with uh, Rosie's baking. Well, I'm a Norwegian queen, and I think I deserve <laughs> to be spoiled. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Nice and rainy, yeah, her favorite. I see George in the background, he's looking for a donut. Where is, and this, I got, this, this is Domino. Is Domino. Domino. Come here. Come on up here. Come on. 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 Come here, come on. Domino, come on. Come on. Of course, I eat a chocolate donut and I got goo all over me. No, this is the neighbor's dog that uh, leaps six foot fences with no problem. Domino, what are you doing? Are you saying hi to everybody? Huh? He is about a 130 pound black lad that can pull himself over a six foot fence. It's the damnedest thing you ever saw. There's Georgie, besides Georgie chasing him around. <laughs> uh, Mikey said, I've been making fried apple pies, just about to get it down. Took some to a church function, all the old men lined up for me. They probably lined up to see you, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, yeah, he's a uh, well, as soon as what do you do? As that? soon as Domino hears the noise, it over is here. Rosie's left testicle. That is a black lab. He's right, right over that fence. As soon as he hears the noise. I mean, I was in I was in shock. Rosie's left at this dog could literally jump up on a fence. Pull itself up to balance on the top of it with no problem. It's just a two by four sideways and stand there for 15 minutes and then yeah. jump down and not injure, dislocate a shoulder or something like that. Oh, uh, that's because uh, that dog never gets any attention, Rosie. That dog never gets any attention next door. He needs a lot of attention. Uh, labs, labs are very. I think all dogs thrive. He loves belly rubs. Well, yeah. yeah. Mary, Mary is the same. Mary loves belly rubs. What are you doing? Huh? Come here. Huh? Come on. What are you doing? Come here. What are you doing? Come on up. Yeah. There he is. Huh? That's a big dummy. What are you doing, Domino? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Huh? They need attention. They need love. You can't, and they got all those kids over there. None of the kids spend any time. I never see them walking well, around. Well, two of the kids are already. Rosie said, said, I have a black age. and yellow lab. They're the best. These are just wonderful dogs, and they need a lot of attention. Hi, Joe. Love you. 
We just ate our Hey, they turned out good, Joe. Nice to see you. Always an honor to see the man's man from Australia, Joseph. Kine. Yep. Hmm? We got up. You talk about a real alpha male with Joseph. And Kine. got dressed and uh, been taste testing the donuts. And after that, I'm going to make Rosie work hard. On the they need show. snacks. You know, JK, that's amazing. He said my German Shepherd can perch on top of the six foot fence trying to chase from accurately. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. There's a two by four on that fence, and he'll just stand there. You know, that two by four is three and a half inches across of its, its width, and he can perfectly bounce. He's 120 pounds. Thank you, Joseph. We look forward to it. Joseph has some more video to watch down there. So I will be putting, we're going to go ahead and get ready to uh, close the hangout. Um, there will be video horse racing and then our Friday night restaurant review will be, I'll be working on that. I'm now going to immediately go over and record the final part of how I got my YouTube channel back from termination for the fifth time. The nuclear option when all else fails. So this will be the final one when every, uh, everything else uh, fails. Hey, Teddy. I got the dude. Oh, my, no, I know she's got this. This place Hi, really. We don't have a big project, but we do see, uh, we do. <laughs> <laughs> there have we go. a good night, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Nicole. Don't be a like stranger. Uh, we'll see you in eight years. Nicole's like the bitch is back. <laughs> <laughs> you should know that. I mean, Nicole was there in uh, November. Uh, You're funny. I mean, she used to let me know that, uh, Rosie, you know, you're, yeah. uh, you're peeking out a little bit on the south side there and stuff. And uh, she's been all the way back with, uh, with me since 2013. So, And I'm glad things are going well for you. So with that, I'm going to go yeah. record that final installment. I think you'll find it interesting about getting a terminated YouTube channel back when all else fails, your final nuclear options so thanks so much for watching everybody and uh i wish i could pass the donuts around to everybody out there i'm sure scientists are working on a way dr emmett brown to do that sometime in the uh, future i'll see you tonight on the uh cooper chat be popping over there so <laughs> yeah you never got paid. <laughs> you never got paid. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Nicole. love and kisses. Nicole, F you. Every you know. one of you. <laughs> thanks, everybody.